Welcome to the Ambient Tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to sync up a RED camera to an external generator. Before we get started, let's take a look at the required gear. First, a RED camera, and it doesn't matter if it's a Scarlet, Epic, Dragon, or Weapon, as they all use the same menu structure. A timecode capable audio recorder with built in locket circuitry or with an external locket. Use any ambient locket device for timecode. But use the ACL 204 for syncing the camera when doing longer shots. If Genlock syncing the unit, use the TC Sync Epic cable. And if you only need timecode, the LTC Out Epic cable will do. Now let's get started with setting up the camera for external synchronization. After powering up the unit, we first need to select the source of the external sync and timecode within the camera menu. To do so, press Menu, then Settings, Setup, and then GPIO Sync. Now we need to go to the Genlock Source menu. In our case, we want to use the connector directly on the camera body, which is called the brain in the red world. And then just above, we need to find the external sensor sync mode to tell the camera to use the external gen lock in order to sync the sensor. The next step is to set up the time code of the camera. To do so, go back to the settings menu and then press the project button. The first thing we need to do is to change the project time base to the frame rate we got from the production company. In this case, Post wants to work with the project time base that is 23.98 frames per second. Note that it doesn't matter if the DOP is changing the shutter frame rate to a different rate. All that matters for your synchronization is the project time base. Therefore, it's very important that you never change the time base during a production. Now we continue to the timecode menu to tell the camera that we need free run timecode from an external source. Click TOD, which is time of day, in the timecode display menu to switch the camera display to free run. Then select external brain in the source menu so the red reads the incoming timecode from the input on the camera body. The last step is specific to red cameras. The camera will not sync up when the HDSDI output is running on a non-compatible frame rate. So we need to go back to the settings screen Press Display, then Monitor Control. Now choose Brain HDSDI in the drop down menu and change the frequency settings to Auto. This way, the HDSDI will always follow your project time base. If you need a specific output rate on the HDSDI, make sure that it's compatible with the project time base you're using. Now your RED is all set up and waiting for an ambient generator. So let's move on and set up the locket box. When you start an ambient locket from factory default, it will always boot unjammed in internal timecode mode with sync switched off. So the first thing we should decide is the running mode of the locket. Internal timecode is used if you just want to jam sync the lockets without ACN. Continuous jam or C jam is used if you want to use the ACN for zero drift wireless synchronization and TRX is used for wireless record run timecode setups. We want to use the C-Jam being the most convenient and accurate mode. Now if we use the tiny locket for timecode without Genlock, we go to the timecode menu to choose our project time base frame rate. But as we want to use Genlock Sync, we'll go straight to the Sync menu and choose 1080p and our project time base sync setting. The timecode frame rate will automatically match up, so in this case, it'll be 23.98 frames per second. Since we're using the CJAM mode, the ACN is already enabled and working per factory default on channel 18. If for some reason you want to work on a different channel, or use some of the features in the extended menu, jump into the ACN menu and set up the ACN network as required. Finally, we need to jam sync our locket boxes. This can be done the old way via cable from our timecode master source if you're using the internal timecode mode. Of course, you should make sure that the source is jammed correctly first, but we will use the CGM mode. 
When doing this, you can use any ACN device as timecode master. As you get started, simply jam the master or manually edit the start timecode. Then go to the ACN menu, jump to the sync menu, and start the CJAM broadcast. You'll get immediate feedback on how many ACN devices were jammed successfully. Although you can use any ACN device's master, we want to use the master locket to wirelessly jam sync all units. Thanks to the web interface, this device offers powerful visual feedback and direct control of all ACN devices in our network. To access the web interface, open the browser of any device connected to the Wi-Fi of the master and go to the domain masterlocket.local or 10.0.0.1. Now go to the timecode tab and change the frame rate of the unit to the project time base by clicking the pencil and choosing from the drop down menu and apply. Type in the required start value or simply use the time of day from your device. Check to make sure the master is set to the same ACN channel as the other locket devices and then hit the start CJAM button. Within a few seconds, all your ACN devices should appear green on the screen, ready for naming and displaying the battery status and current frame rate. Last but not least, we'll connect the locket to the red camera with our cables. And the sync and gen indicator on the camera should turn green in a few moments. When your system is synced like this, your cameras will run for an entire shooting day without drift. Additionally, we strongly recommend that you check the synchronization of your system to avoid any issues.